Hi everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we'll be talking about Aperium Hero, the card game. And this is designed by G. Wesley Cohn and it is published by Anthem Creations. It's kind of a dueling style card game. You can play with more players, but uh, it, it still has that dueling feel to it. In this game, you are trying to bring someone's sky base's health down to zero uh, and keeping yourself alive, keeping your sky base alive. All right, let me give you a quick overview of how it works on the table. All right, so here is our setup. Each player is going to start with a sky base, and this is ultimately kind of the win condition. You want to be the last person with a sky base on the board. It has a 100 health, or defense of 100. It has zero attack power. We also have all these heroes out here that we're going to be drafting over the course of the game. They have various stats. Again, the gold is the attack value, the silver is their defense value. They also have special abilities, either passive or active abilities, that they're going to be using throughout the game to help you out. We also have a player aid here. It kind of shows all the different things you can do on your turn. On the back, there's some information as well, about, especially about the heroic feats and, again, about the abilities. You get a chance to start out with a hero. You kind of draft one of your choice out of the kind of the lineup there. Uh, you want one with kind of a lot of a starting defense value to start off with. Um, every player is going to get a kind of a starting deck of all these different attack modifiers and defense modifiers you can add on to characters. However, there's also a whole bunch of abilities as well as feat cards. Now, what you can do is one of two things. In the rule book, there's kind of a prescribed uh, setup of cards you can give to players, so that way it kind of has a very selection of cards that kind of are tailor-made to be balanced. Or, alternatively, what you can do once you're a little more familiar with the game, you can lay them all out on the table, and you can take turns drafting them, so that way everybody has uh, the kind of hand that they want. They've kind of cultivated their own, uh, their own deck before the game starts. All right, so you're going to shuffle together your, you know, your defense and attack stats along with your new abilities and your feats, and you're going to make a deck out of them. So the actions are actually the name of the game, Hero. So there's Heal, Enhance, Recruit, or Overcome. So recruiting is an easy one. What you can do for recruit is you can take two heroes, either from the face up or from the face down pile. Right, let's just do recruit. Let's grab two of these. These are going to go into our hand along with the one that's here. We've already drawn before the game started. The next action I want to talk about is called Enhance. This is drop to three cards from your deck, and then you can play up to three cards. So we'll go one, two, three, and then we can also play some of our people down there. So we might play a hero, and maybe play another hero, and then give uh, give somebody some defense as well, kind of boost that up. Let's give it to Yasmin. Now, there are no damage counters in this game, uh, so when someone gets damaged by 50% or more, but yet not all the way killed, you basically kind of turn them sideways to show that they are half dead. We'll call it exhausted. So somebody, let's say he's got 70 health. If you do 50 damage to him, he would be exhausted, but not defeated. If you wanted to finish him off, what you just have to do is do another attack for now, uh, basically half of that value. So you need to do damage of 40 in order to finish him off. If you have any heroes who are still exhausted on your turn, you can do a heal action. A heal action, you can heal, meaning turn them back right side up, as many players as you want, as many heroes as you want, and then from your hand, you can play up to three cards from your hand to the field. All right, so we talked about heal, we talked about enhance and recruit. Now the last one is overcome. Basically that's their way of saying attack. You take one of your people or even you can make a group of people and attack with them. So for instance, this one has 20 and 60. If we combine them and attacked, it would be an attack worth of 80. Everyone who attacked also is exhausted at the end of their turn. So keep that in mind as well. So the goal of the game is to get rid of the other players' heroes, so that way they have no heroes left defending their sky base. Once you have all the heroes removed, then you can start doing damage to the sky base. Once again, you kind of have to do it all in one shot, or at least half of it, because there's no damage counters. You have to at least do half damage to it in order to be able to show that it's been damaged. Now, there are a whole lot of special abilities as well. Those abilities are really cool things that are like passive ones. These are always in place. Uh, so this one says, when you attach it to a hero, uh, when this hero is defeated, you may take control of any hero, moving it to your player area, discarding all of its enhancements. If fatigued, hero must stay that way. So this gives you a chance to, even though one of your characters maybe died, you can get another hero back. There's one that says shielding. If fatigued, this hero gains 20 defense for every strengthened hero. This bonus is added after the total of defense is halved. So that's really nice. And then there's active abilities you kind of have to actually uh, say. This one says, target opponent reveals all of their abilities on the field. You may use some of the active abilities as if it's your own, or one of the abilities as if it was your own, regardless of timing. So when you play an ability, you play it underneath the character, you don't show what it is. You get a chance to peek at it and you know what it is, but none of the other opponents at the table do know what it is. There's a huge variety of different abilities, so you want to kind of use those to your advantage in order to swing things in your favor. 
Now the last thing you can do on your turn is called these feats. There are four feats in the game, and these are super, super strong abilities. In fact, they take up your entire turn when you use them. Uh, this one says, um, target opponent he reveals their hand, then discards all non-hero cards. So let's say they've been drawing cards the whole game, they've got a ton of cards in their hand ready to kind of go crazy. This just gets rid of like basically all the heroes except for, or all the cards except for heroes. That's huge. There's a drain one that says, discard all of one opponent's enhancement cards from the field. So that way, you know, all these extra cards they have stacked on top of the characters, they'd all disappear. All right, so again, you're gonna be healing, you're gonna be enhancing, you're gonna be recruiting these heroes, you're gonna be overcoming in combat, and then ultimately trying to take out all your opponent's heroes in front of them so the, their sky base is unarmed so that you can attack it. If you were the last sky base standing at the end of the game, you're declared the winner. I thought it was really neat how in this game, uh, every player had basically their own kind of customized starting deck, right? So that way you kind of went in there knowing that your card, your deck was going to be completely balanced with everyone else's, and that you had equal number of those feet cards, those ability cards, defenses, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you kind of started off just everybody's kind of going. However, I also prefer and enjoy it with the drafting rules where you can kind of lay them all out there. Everyone has the same kind of starting hand of like the defense and attack uh, yeah. boosters. However... Those abilities and defeat cards, you draft those into your deck so you kind of customize you based off your style of play. Uh, so if you want to go a heavy attack route or a heavy defensive route or a heavy, uh, you know, maybe a milling deck kind of strategy, whatever you want to do with that, uh, you can kind of draft based off of your preferred style of play. This game was pretty quick and easy to learn. Um, it came with the player aid, and I always really like when games have player aids because I need those so i appreciate when it's there even if the game is quick and easy to learn i like to be able to verify what i'm doing and what the turns are and then also you don't have to like ask people questions all the time because it's right there but it was pretty simple to learn um you just have to have cards in your out in your play area and then add to it like that's it right and then you choose if you're going to attack or not so it was it was pretty um easy to learn also, as far as choosing whether to attack or not, I liked being able to customize those characters, add those attack cards, add those defense cards, add those ability cards, so that way uh, you can kind of make the most of them. I really enjoyed having that kind of that secret reveal moment where someone attacks you and you're like, oh, by the way, based off this ability, you're dead too. <laughs> or whatever. Or guess what? You thought you killed me, but it turns out I have secret defense that you didn't know about. <laughs> or whatever it is. Having those hidden ability cards oh, and being able to kind of customize the strength and of your stats of your character, I thought was a lot of fun. Okay, guys. This is where I'm going to be a downer for just a quick moment. And then Ryan will be back up. I promise. Um, this is not my style of game. Like, that, even if it's not a dueling attacking game, the the attacking style of games like this, I just don't particularly enjoy. I don't gravitate towards them. I don't think there's any that I would be like, yes, let's play that one. It's just not my style of play. And so because of that, um, I didn't thoroughly enjoy this game. But once again, that is because the style of game that this is just isn't my style of game. So it has nothing to speak on the game, more so on Bethany. Um... Yeah, so if you don't like dueling games, just like Bethany said, this yeah. game might be one you want to avoid. Yep. However, <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> don't mind. That said. I don't mind dueling games, and I liked it quite a bit. I, you know, I've played games like Magic: The Gathering, Pokemon, some other of those kind of CCG games or LCG games, um, where you have that dueling combat in the game. It was just really what this felt like it to me, uh, and I thought this was a great game in terms of encapsulating the feeling of those games into one concise box. You know, when you're playing a game like Magic the Gathering, you have the entire library of cards for <laughs> the past 26 years or whatever it is now, 27 years or something. Uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of cards to choose from to make your deck. This one you have like 100, right? <laughs> and only the, uh, you know, I don't know, 30 years of those that you can actually draft from. Um, but you still get, because of that, a unique experience. So I really enjoyed how they were, you know, how the designer was able to make this kind of unique dueling experience with multiple paths to victory in a concise box with, you know, not having a ton of booster packs you need to buy and chase rarity and all those kinds of things that you need to do in some of those customizable card games. So I, I really enjoyed that part of it. I, I really like the drafting. Again, it kind of felt, made you feel like you're customizing a deck and going to battle with it, uh, just like some of those CCGs do. But again, in five minutes instead of over the course of like a couple of months or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really enjoyed that. Um, 
this is a great alternative to if you have been playing some of those games that are expensive and you have to keep on keeping up with the, the newest and newest rounds of them. Uh, if you want a similar experience in a smaller package, I suggest maybe give an Imperium Hero a try. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out. And you can find us on Facebook, we're Ryan Bethany Board Game Reviews. You can find us on Twitter, we're Ryan Bethany One. And you can find us on Instagram, we are Ryan and Bethany. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.